John Berkhamshaw began life in the 1950s in Park City, Utah. It was a different place back then, but certainly influenced his path in life. Park City is a town that you knew everyone. It wasn't a big sprawling town as it is today, but everybody took care of you. There is a long history of volunteerism in John's family. Four generations of his family have served as volunteer firefighters for the Park City Fire Department. As soon as he turned 18, John signed up and made it a fifth generation. I enjoyed it so much, the friends I met, the people I became acquainted with, that started my volunteer career. The volunteering continued with the ski patrol, the 2002 Winter Games, and lineman competitions in his role as an employee of Rocky Mountain Power. Then, one day, he and his wife, Georgia, attended a University of Utah gymnastics meet. You might say John was floored and forever hooked. The biggest thing was the athleticism of the athletes, their ability to complete different elements of their routines, whether they were on beam, floor, bars, or vault was just amazing to me. His volunteering took on a new title, number one Red Rocks fan. I remember at the championships in Minneapolis on the airplane ride home, and Greg, we had our, our championship trophy. He was letting some of the fans hold the trophy, and John held that, that trophy and, and never looked back as a fan with our program. I don't know where it comes from, but I've always been when I like something, I like to go all in or not. All in for John and Georgia meant faithfully attending home meets, traveling to away meets, and supporting the student athletes in small but meaningful ways. He knew he couldn't do anything for the athletes or the parents of any monetary value because of rules. He came up with this idea of creating these special beads that were just for the team and for their parents and some of the fans that would travel to the national championships. Those little things where it made such a difference. I mean, we have girls now going, oh, John, I lost my beads from this year. Do you think you could make them again? In 2001, John became good friends with Melissa Vitoy and her parents, Bill and Carol. They had special hand signals to communicate with their daughter while she was on the floor. John picked up on this. And then something magical happened. I asked for a little bit of a demonstration, and he says, this is what we do. She'll do I see you. And Bill and Carol would do back I, I see you too. But the main one they always did is I love you. What I did is I made a mixture, would tell Melissa, I see you and she would do the same. And then, I love you. After every event, she would sign the fans, and the fans would just went crazy. That you, as our athletes on the team, um, would see them do that, then they're thinking, we, sh we should do that. And then pretty soon, one or two athletes would dismount and, and do a you, and the crowd went crazy over that. And then it just started to spread. How can we not honor the person that originated that? He took our program, gave it another level of service, of taking care of our athletes and our parents. John has shown his love since 1992 in so many different ways. From all over the world, he has touched people with his pride for the youths. Yes, John, we love you too.